in there? Hmm? What can I get for you today? Um, don't get the same thing you always get. She'll have what I'm having, but with onion rings instead of fries. This will be out shortly. Thanks. I know you don't like change, but it's good for you to mix it up a little. And you always steal a couple bites of my burger anyway. Asshole. Two o'clock. Do all men stop listening once they're sure they're getting laid? Probably. Seems that way anyway. I didn't love men so much. I'd become a lesbian. <laughs> if you want to become a lesbian, become a lesbian. I don't think it works that way. <laughs> Why can't it just be like this with a guy? Like what? This. What you and I have. Mm, but we're not in a relationship. Aren't we? No. Think about it though. We spend the majority of our time together. We talk about everything under the sun. And we care about each other unconditionally. The only difference between this and a relationship is there's nothing sexual going on. That's a pretty big difference. But you see my point. It's so easy for two people of the same sex to bond, but when one person's got different parts down there, the whole thing's a big mess. And finding the right guy, if such a person even exists, is next to impossible. Maybe men just suck as a general rule. Mm. That's just science. We've all got this love hormone, mm -hmm. oxytocin, oh. moving through us. But it doesn't affect us all in the same way. It makes males more competitive in social situations, while it gives females the ability to form emotional bonds and attachments, which is probably why so many women are still hung up on ex-boyfriends who are already in bed with someone new. And then there's progesterone. Another hormone? Yes. <laughs> When you feel emotionally close to someone, like a best friend, your progesterone level increases, boosting your mood and reducing stress. And that is why women are biologically better than men. <laughs> That's so disappointing. Tell me about it. Asshole. <laughs> the whole dating system just sucks in general. I mean, girls are conditioned before they can even speak that Love and men will solve all their problems and they'll live happily ever after. Well, those princess movies are just brainwashing devices. I don't want to write those kinds of movies. 